So quiz two is going to cover average rate of change in the difference quotient. And will look like what you see here. So this is a great study guide for the quiz. The first thing you have to tell me is the difference quotient. Remember, that's just f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So you just have to have that memorized. Not only do you need to have it memorized for that question, but that's going to allow us to calculate the difference quotient that we see in number two. Now in number two, you're going to do two difference quotients. You're going to do one for a linear function like a and one for a quadratic like b. So let's start with the linear function. First, calculate f of x plus h. So we're going to take out our original input. We're going to replace it with x plus h. So that's 3 times x plus h minus 5. Now let's make that as pretty as possible. Let's distribute the 3. So that's 3x plus 3h minus 5. Now we're going to put that in this spot. We're going to put this in parentheses in this spot. So this I always think of technically think of a parenthesis there. Okay. So f of x plus h we found to be 3x plus 3h minus 5 minus off the original function f of x which is 3x minus 5 all over h. Now, if you kind of see what the patterns are for linear functions, at least show me uh, your original setup. But let's take a look what happens. We get 3x plus 3h minus 5 minus 3x plus 5 all over h. Our 3x's cancel. Our 5's are opposites. They cancel. So I get 3h divided by h or 3. So that's the linear one. I think you'll be fine with that. That's not uh, you know, too arduous of a process. But now let's look at the difference quotient for a quadratic. Now, f of x plus h is 2 times the quantity of x plus h squared plus 3 times the quantity of x plus h minus 7. Now, a little reminder, remember, that x plus h squared is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. So you have to know that by heart or be able to calculate it by doing x plus h times x plus h. Now let's put in what we know. Okay, so this is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now before I do any distribution, I'm going to just fill that in. Now let's distribute all of this. Okay, so we get 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared. Just distribute the 2. Just distribute the 3. If I can make that look a little better. There we go. And then there's nothing that can be simplified. So now we are going to be able to use the formula. So remember our formula is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So let's plop the stuff into the formula. This is going to go there. It's all ready. Okay, so let's write it down. So it's 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared plus 3x plus 3h minus 7 minus, in parentheses, the original function, f of x. I didn't write it again because it's all ready to go. So I'm just going to rewrite 2x squared plus 3x minus 7, all over h. Now let me kind of make this a little smaller so I can fit it. I write it so big sometimes. Okay. Okay. Now let's distribute this negative. We get 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared plus 3x plus 3h minus 7 minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 7 all over h. Now let's start canceling some things out. There's a 2x squared and a negative 2x squared. There is a positive 3x and a negative 3x. 
there is a negative 7 and a positive 7. Now let's look what's left. There's three terms left. Each of the terms that are left contain an h. So let's write that down. So we get 4xh plus 2h squared plus 3h all over h. Okay, let's okay. Now you're going to divide all those things by h, and then we're done. So we get 4x plus 2h plus 3. And that is the difference quotient for the quadratic. And then our last things on the test is average rate of change. So the formula we need for that is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. It's really just the slope formula. Okay. So let's think of ending versus beginning. In problem three, we're ending at six, we're beginning at two. So let's find f of six and let's find f of two. Now, f of six, if we plug six into our function as our input, that's gonna be 36 plus two or 38. If I plug 2 into my function, I'm going to get 4 plus 2, or 6. So we're just finding the average rate of change between those two points. So it's going to be f of 6 minus f of 2 over 6 minus 2. And we've already calculated those things. So it's just 38 minus 6 over 6 minus 2. Now 38 minus 6 is 32. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 goes into 32 8 times. So our average rate of change is 8. Now let's use the formula one more time to do problem number 4. So our ending is 5, so we're going to do f of 5. Our beginning is 1, so we're going to do f of 1. Let's plug those into the function. If I input 5, I'm going to get 3 times 25, or 75. If I input 5, I'm getting 75. If I input 1, I'm getting 3 times 1, or 3. So our slope is just going to be f of 5 minus f of 1 over 5 minus 1. That's going to be our average rate of change. Now we've calculated those values, so it's just 75 minus 3 over 5 minus 1, which is 72 over 4. And 4 goes into 72 18 times. Okay, so make sure you know your difference quotient. Make sure you know your average rate of change uh, uh, equation. Know those two formulas. And that's what our quiz looks like. So please go ahead and study. There you go.